Hi guys, welcome back. I've been out shooting all day today. I've been testing a new barrel. It's a new spec barrel that I've been given to test. I've been trying some slugs and pellets through it. But what I wanted to show you today is how important it is really to batch test your pellets as opposed to just going to buy a particular brand and buying them by the head size. I've got here JSB Exact, so JSB branded, they're exact. Now, of course, they make these FX branded exacts for FX and of course they do for air arms as well with their Diablo fields. Now all three of those are a 4.52 head size. They all weigh up at 8.4 grains or thereabouts although I know that these FX's come in just slightly overweight. I've talked about these various pellets before. Now this particular batch of JSB exacts, I've never had really much luck with these through any of my rifles. The Anschutz barrel doesn't like them and a couple of the CZ barrels don't like them. I'm expecting, even through this new spec barrel, that the grouping of these is going to be marginally worse than it is with the other two, despite them looking like, and on the packaging it says they're a 4.52 and everything else, but on paper we should see a bit of a difference. So I'm just going to run out a couple of cards with plain crosshairs on there. We're at 35 metres today, so a little bit shorter than what we have been shooting, so that's what, 37 yards or thereabouts. Let's get stuck in. We'll start off with the Air Arms Diablo Fields. We'll get 10 of those out. I've got the GoPro down the end, so we'll get this shot and we'll see if there's any differences. I'm a bit wobbly now. I've been shooting all day, various other bits I'm testing. Probably not ideal for accurate shooting, but it's too nice an afternoon not to stay out. Won't be many more nice afternoons like this this year, that's for sure. Oh, I wobbled off that one. Right, last one. Right, we'll go and get that target in and then we'll get these other ones shot. So we've got a bit of a breeze out there. There's not a lot, but it's sort of swirling over the top of the board and down the side. So. We won't be shooting mega tight groups, but I want to show the difference between the different batches of pellet. And this is an unknown barrel to me. I've been using this with slugs so far, so I'm not entirely sure how it's going to perform with pellets of either of these batches. So when there's no breeze running, these will go through the same hole at this range. We've got a little bit of a swirly breeze, but not a huge amount. Right, that's 10 of them. Now through all of my previous barrels, I've not done particularly well with these, although they look all but identical by eye, they weigh up quite similar as well. Slightly different aim point. This one's come in sort of low and left. <laughs> That's gone through the same hole as the second one. <laughs> oh well, maybe they're not as bad as I thought they were then. Right, well them results weren't quite what I was expecting. They seldom ever are actually when you're pellet testing. So I was entirely expecting that the FX branded JSB pellets would shoot the tighter groups on the day. Now they shot an 18mm group outside edge to outside edge. The JSB exacts here, which for most of my rifles aren't a particularly good batch, actually matched that at 18mm outside edge to outside edge. On the day, the Diablo fields beat both of those with a 14 mil outside edge, outside edge group. If I hadn't been a numpty and wobbled off of this one, most of those would have been underneath of a centimetre group, maybe even a little bit smaller. However, 
just because these ones perform best in that particular barrel that I'm testing out at the moment doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be the ones to go and buy for yours. So the last thing I'm going to do is go and suggest you go and buy a ton of these. You really ought to go out and try and get your hands on as many different tester packs as you can if you can get on the forums, see if you can buy any half tins of pellets. Get down your local club if people have got half tins. I mean, I would have quite happily got rid of these ones before that testing because they hadn't shot particularly well in most of my rifles. However, this just highlights that fact even further that sometimes a batch that doesn't perform in one rifle may well perform quite adequately in another. So when you look at the back of your tins, you can see that we've got 452 here is the head size and then this is the batch code there and the date at the end. So that 10 is from 2010. If you make a note, once you've found these pellets that perform particularly well in your barrel, make a note of that batch code. And assuming that they're fairly recent, you should be able to go online and even sort of rummage through most of your gun shops and see if you can find as many of them exact batches that you can do. Doing it that way, a bit like I did with these FX ones in 2010, means that even if you change your rifle down the line, you'll at least in your collection have some known good batches as a starting point for further testing on other rifles. So before I started this testing, this particular batch hadn't shot very well in anything of mine really. They were okay, but they certainly weren't as good as some of the other batches. But typically, as with everything pellet testing, there's no rhyme or reason necessarily why one barrel prefers one pellet over another. Now this batch is from 2015, as you can see on the back edge here of that date code. Trying to find some more of these now will probably be impossible. However, I've only got a few tins of these left. That little tester tin of Diablo Fields that you've seen me using before, I'm most of the way through these now, unfortunately, and they're from 2017. So although these perform very well in this new spec barrel that I'm testing, which down the line I will tell you more about when we've got some more data on that, but these perform quite well through there. Trying to find some more of these from 2017, yeah, unlikely now. So I need to get some more batches in and do a bit more further testing myself on that particular barrel. Interestingly, that barrel that I was using, it looks very much like a CZ, but it isn't. It's something else that I've been given for testing. I'm doing a bit of slug testing through that at the moment, and so far the results have been interesting, really. Highlights that the slug fit actually in the barrels is incredibly important, but certainly getting some interesting data from that and certainly learning quite a lot actually about the slugs, the slug fit, and even the speeds to run them. So certainly down the line, that's going to be interesting, but hopefully with this one, guys, this just highlights how important it is to actually go out and test and batch test your pellets. Hopefully it might well save you some money down the line and it'll at least then give you some known good batches for the future. So I think that'll do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.